Happy New Year, hello and welcome to Ethersound Review and this is my most recommended items for 2022. So before I begin, there are some rules I need to explain here. First of all, this is my list based on my way of scoring items. And there are some well-known items that I personally haven't heard. Of course, I will not include it, uh, including them in this list. Also, you can check my measurement in aftersound.squeak.link. If you'd like to see my IM list, you could see in the description below in my ranking list. Also, there will be some categories. Of course, first of all, it will be based on price level. And then there are honorable mentions, which are IMs that I consider to be special, but they are not the best. And then my personal choice, which definitely will be based on my personal bias, my personal playlist. And there are most recommended, which is only one that I try to be objective here on what is the most all-rounded one to be recommended in the price point. Okay, let's get started. Starting from the $20 price point, for me, this is the clearest focal at this price point even though it's a little bit dry but it's somehow sound quite neutral too and it is the moon drop 2 and then if you want something quite all rounded but some still a little bit neutral ish side this is my pick the sound notes zero from 7 hertz and then if you are a bass head you like a lot of bass but well tuned mid range and soft treble KKZ HBB and then for my personal choice well I like energetic treble here so this is my personal choice the CCA CRA plus but for my most recommended I am the, th the one that I feel to be the most well rounded for a lot of genre and sounds natural at $20 price point it is the amazing Tangzu one Er. Going to the next price point, which is the $50 I am here are my honorable mentions. First of all, if you want something pop, something that have good resolution and really pop in sound, it is the Kynira Celeste Gumiho. It sounds quite unique and very energetic, but sometimes it could be a little bit too much for some people. And then the Kiwi Ears Cadenza, which is I consider it to be somehow a kind of upgrade from the Tangzu One Er. Very well rounded, very smooth, and also clear in vocal, but timbral wise, it's excellent. And then, if you want something that have like a simulation of multiple drivers, like multiple speakers, at this price point. This is the KZ AS16 Pro, even though there are some weakness in its tuning, but I find it to be remarkable. But for my personal choice, it will be the Tin Hi-Fi C2 Mac Warrior. I find it somehow quite neutral, but with good extension on both sides, keeping all good technical this for the price point. But for my most recommended here, I think it's basically unbeatable in terms of overall technical performance and also uh, the tonality is also really fun for anyone and this is the truth year zero now going to the hundred dollar price point my honorable mention will be the seven hertz salmons dioko and personally if you are looking for something that is the most resolving at this price point this is still the best one, but the tuning won't be for everyone. And then for my personal choice, it is the amazing Juno Titan S. For me, it has somehow a little bit on the neutral-ish side, still with a little bit of bass boost, but it has quite good natural treble extension. But for my most recommended IM at this price point, simply the truth ear hexa it is an amazing ion for me it only lacks in dynamics but in overall feature for its tonality very well balanced again it's almost on the neutral ish side too with excellent technical it is so it is simply my most recommended ions going to 300 dollar price point here are my honorable mentions the one of the most 
all-rounder planer I am. It's the Seven Hertz Timeless. I think everybody expect this already. <laughs> and then the most neutral planer that I have ever heard with also planer-ish technical it is. It's of the amazing Juno Talos of course in off mode. When I'm switching the on mode, it turns to a trouble disaster for me. But if I turn off the switch, it's the most neutral planer I am that I've ever heard. And of course, still the well, very well known the Moondrop Lasting 2. If you want something that sound, sound a little bit neutral ish, but in hybrid driver configuration with just a little bit bass boost. A lot of clarity still Moondrop Blessing 2 is still recommended at this price point. But for my personal choice, again, I love treble energy and I love treble extension, even though it sounds a little bit V-shaped-ish and a little bit sharp for some people, but I love the Sure S12. It is my personal choice, but for the most recommended I am at this price point that has excellent tonalities and excellent technical tests with really good fit, the Awful Performer 5. Going up to $700 price point, soon we will reach Kilobucks IM. Well, the first on my honorable mention list is the Moondrop variation. If you like slamming sub bass with three-dimensional presentation, I think Moondrop variation is still special at its price point. And then if you like something a little bit harmon ish I am with one of the best technicalities around this price point is the Moondrop S8. At one more I am that is still unique and it's coming from an Indonesian boutique company, the 7th Acoustic Supernova. Extremely well balanced tuning with high level of coherency, only personally lacking in a little bit of dynamics. But for my personal choice and also most recommended IM is the same and it is the Sennheiser IE600. Personally, I'm a single dynamic driver guy and this finding this Sennheiser IE600 is a delight. It's one of the most resolving single dynamic driver IM with amazing resolution. And it has one of the most complete sounding of frequency for a dynamic driver. I could hear sub bass clearly well. The mid range is still clear and also treble really well extended, even though it's a little bit spicy for some people. But I love Sennheiser 600. Going up to $1,500 price point, my first honorable mention is the Soft Ears Twilight. Another single dynamic driver that I personally really love. It is somehow really well tuned. It has this kind of romantic vibes to it because of how natural and how the timbre is really good on that time. But it lacks resolution and detail actually for the price. But it's still something that I would say very special. And then the Thea Audio Monarch Mark II. Well, this is maybe one of the most highly recommended. I'm sure everyone very easy to recommend it. It has one of a very special female vocal presentation, very smooth, but also keeping high level of details. But personally, I find that the treble impacts is quite lacking. And then another I am from a booty company, but this one is from Singapore. That is the Symphonium Helios. Only using four balance armature, but has one of the best sub bass driver slam from any BA driver with amazing treble extension without sounding very harsh. But for my personal choice, it is the Sony IR M9. It somehow sounds uh, neutral warm, but the thing that I really love about this Sony IR M9 is the godlike imaging. When I'm hearing some orchestral music, I still feel that this is one of the best I am to get that theater-like feeling. But my most recommended I am at this price point, which I consider to be the most all-rounder one, it is the Effect Audio and also Elysian Acoustics collaboration, Gaia. 
simply sound mild V shape with a lot of energies, lot of fun with high level of details. Now we're talking about unlimited budget here. So these are the best of the best I am at least from what I have ever tried and heard. If you love bass, well this is still the king of bass in terms of slam and texture, still very lifelike presentation of bass. It is the amazing Sony IRZ1R. And then going up if you love details, this is simply the most detailed IM that I've ever heard with the best resolution. Even though it sounds a little bit uh, not natural, it still has the BA timbre. It is the QDC Anoli VX. It's a monster in detail. If you like imaging, fun signature sounding, search none other than the TIA Trio. It has amazing imaging and also well-balanced fun tonality. But for my personal choice, where will I stop this hobby if I'd like to stop right now? Well, I need to buy two and it is simply <laughs> the Sony IRM9 plus the IE600. For me, it's an amazing uh, combination. Yeah, <laughs> that's my personal choice. And then my most recommended IM, which is an end game for a lot of people, it is still the king the 64 audio u12t so that's all for my most recommended ims but it's not done yet well here comes the most disappointing ims that personally i find because i have heard a lot of hyped im for 2022 and his here's my i don't know i somehow feel disappointed when i hear it it sounds Simply bad in tuning. Score or S G O R Venus. I really don't get it why this one gets hyped. For me, it's simply too harsh and uneven in the mid range area. It's just, I don't know why. This is simply bad for me. Another one is the Moondrop Stellaris. It's a detail, the detail level is high, I know, but the tuning. I don't know why, it's just supremely V-shaped with a lot of harshness and spice around the treble area. It's just strange in tuning. But my worst IM for 2022 is the Muse Hi-Fi Power. At $200 price point for planar driver, this is simply the worst tuned one with the worst fitting. Well, I think that's all I could say about my ranking and also my most recommended list for 2022. I hope you enjoy this video. And I know that a lot of people will not agree with me, but hey, that's my point of view. And that's what I hear also. That's my list. I hope you enjoy this video and thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.